We are here at the Iroquois campus with Principal John Barkle, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about what students at Iroquois might expect in their classrooms and throughout the school day. John, tell me a little bit about this class. What classroom are we in and, and what are we looking at here? So this is a second grade classroom, second floor of the Iroquois building. And uh, what we've done is we've taken desks, which second graders would have uh, typically sat in uh, pre-COVID. And with pull-out chairs, we've tape measured every single one of these 22 desks off and uh, six feet apart from each other. So we have found uh, that we can fit our classroom size. We don't have to adjust numbers and we can still social distance, having adequate space for learning and, uh, and, and with safety and health in mind. So, uh, so we're fortunate to be able to do this. That's great. Will every classroom look like this or should students expect each class to be a little bit different? So this is an example that works. Um, there is some freedom within it that we can adjust, we can move as long as we keep the six foot social distancing. Uh, there's freedom in that. We want school to feel natural. We want kids to come back, feel uh, like they've never left. Certainly things are going to look different, but uh, with some of those freedoms of moving desks around, it, it gives, uh, gives the atmosphere of, of not being too tight, and uh, we want that for our, certainly our teachers, but definitely our kids. Absolutely. When kids are coming into a classroom, what are some of the things that they might do as they're coming inside from maybe playground or at the beginning of the day? How are they going to um, ent enter these rooms as sure. they're coming in? And how are teachers going to help them do that? Yep, so I guess in two different ways uh, to, s to speak generally, and certainly there's more to it than that. Um, one is just making sure that we're timed um, and scheduled entering the building, giving a whole class enough time to get through the doors, making sure timing of entering and exiting rooms and, and the building are scheduled scheduled and scheduled in a way that's that's manageable. What about hand washing? When are they going to be hand washing? How are they going to be hand washing? Yep, before and after recess, they're going to go out and put whatever germs they may have <laughs> on the playground equipment and then upon coming back whatever potential um, germs they picked up, they'll wash them again. So, really erring on the side of let's just do it let's uh, and we're going to have plenty of hand sanitizer our our classrooms are equipped with sinks and soap so we're really fortunate to um, have easy access to, to staying clean and just having it be part of the day and creating it to be very normal it's just what you do kids are really quick to pick that up and without overthinking it too much so Speaking of normalizing behaviors, what are some things or any tips you might have for parents talking to their kids at home about how school and how their routines might look different this year? Well, first off, the excitement of we're going back. That's a good thing, yeah. right? We're going to see our friends. We're going to meet our teachers. Uh, we're going to have PE and recess. We're going to have art class and music class and Spanish. You know, we're going to try and keep school to be as fun and exciting and um, uh, awesome as it was before. And conducive and, to learning, and conducive I'm sure, to learning. as well. Of course, yes. of course, <laughs> absolutely. That's very important. And, and the nice thing is about being back is we actually get to use our time um, differently than we were at home and um, learning from our teacher, creating that relationship, that bond, um, being okay with some change. And also, not only that, but knowing that this is Lord willing, very temporary, that we can go back to all those things we really like to do too in a tight-knit, close quarters community, we're going to get there. And uh, so to hang on to this, we're going to get through, but, uh, but we, can, we can get back to school and how exciting is that? So. Absolutely. For any kids that might be feeling anxious or nervous about coming back to school, Again, anything for parents to do, or how is the school going to help maybe support those students? So first off, it's very understandable. If kids are nervous, if they're not feeling comfortable, that's not uncommon, and it's, it's okay to feel that way. Um, and what we want parents, what we certainly want kids to know is um, we're going to be ready for them. We're going to be ready to love them. Um, we've got um, a, a whole social work team that's that's 
conversing and just gearing up for those conversations of it being okay. And we are equipped with, um, with Grace Boyle, our social worker. She's gonna be here, she's gonna be helpful. And certainly with us as teachers and principals, we're all here for our kids. We're here to listen and we're gonna take the time that we need to give them, um, that they need to talk, to take a breather, to just get back to the swing of things because it's been a while yeah. and uh, we want to coach them through and help them out. Great. So.